All right, Jen, here we are at Hisense at CES. I'm really excited to show everyone what they got going on in 2026. So let's get in there. Let's go. So as you guys know, last year Hisense came out with the world's largest RGB mini LED TV in the 116 inch size. First to bring that to market and actually get it into people's home. And that's sort of the theme this year is innovation and then scalability and getting these kinds of products in your home. So excited to tell you guys about how they're doing that by bringing RGB mini LED to you know smaller sizes and different models, not just having it in only the 116 inch size and kind of telling you guys all about that because Hisense has been pioneering tech like like this, including like the trichroma laser since CES in 2019. And so scalability, affordability, bringing it to the regular people. Now they do have the micro LED behind us, Jen, but maybe that's not quite as attainable. I mean, yeah. it's really cool to see though, to have that in the 163 inch size. And this year they've added the yellow pixel to have yes. more color, not just RGB, but yellow in fact. So, you know, that's not maybe the most affordable or practical for most people, but it's still cool to see micro LED. But that brings us to the US XS. So this year, they're actually adding a cyan pixel. So not just RGB, but RGB-C for the UXX 116 inch. It's going to help with eye strain, right? Yeah, it's going to reduce your eye strain by about 80%, which is amazing. And on a screen this big, that really makes a big impact. Yeah, I think it's going to be impactful. And it's also going to help bridge the gap between the blue and the green pixels. So that's not necessarily reinventing the wheel when it comes to TV tech, but that's the whole point is like making it practical and useful. Having this cyan pixel is going to make it better for people to watch and then taking this and scaling it to the other TVs is the goal. So we talked about the UXS and how cool it's going to be, but let's talk about that affordability and scalability inside more. Now, as we're getting in here, you can see they got some exciting tertiary products here, including some robots with cowboy hats, which is pretty awesome. But let's make our way inside to see more TVs. Now, the two new TVs we're going to be talking about are the UR9 and UR8. And these aren't necessarily those. These are displaying some of the AI features that they have in in general. We'll see the UR9 in a second, but these are gonna be products that come out more toward March and we'll have more information on it. But the big news is, is that they're gonna be RGB mini LED in both the UR9 and UR8. And the 8 series is a pretty popular TV because it's very affordable and yet it's a very good TV. So having RGB mini LED backlighting is gonna be awesome in those two products. They're gonna have 55 inch all the way up to 100 inch TVs. So again, that's I think what people are gonna like because uh, not everybody can have a 116 inch in their house. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and it's, you know, expensive TVs, even though it's innovative, but uh, having the smaller sizes, specifically 55, 65, 75, all that is going to be awesome for the, uh, you know, consumer. And much lighter. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's the big thing. And speaking of smaller and lighter, Jen, <laughs> why don't you take us to the projectors where we can see small things throwing big giant images. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, now we have robots in action. This is so rad, I love it. Now, before we get to the new XR10 long throw projector, tri-chroma laser, what I'm really excited to tell you guys about, let's quickly talk about the PX4 Pro. So we had the PX3 Pro and the L9Q last year, and both of them are fantastic ultra short throw projectors. But the PX4 Pro is gonna now be 3,500 ANSI lumen over the 3,000 that the PX3 Pro was, and I think up to 6,000 to one contrast ratio. But the design of it is gonna be more like the L9Q with the Debye LA speakers kind of coming up out and giving you more of like an immersive center channel and really good audio quality in general. Now, as you can see, Hisense is talking about their partnership with Microsoft and Xbox that they've had for many years now. But I do think that these ultra short throw projectors are really good for gamers. You can actually game on them up to 240 frames per second at 1080p. And our gaming experience on them has been pretty fun. How are the Lego games on them, Jen? Oh, Lego games are great. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we, we play really slow frame rate games, but you know, I do. <laughs> 240 hertz Lego gaming would be pretty awesome too. But for us, it's not all about gaming because we watch a lot of sports yes. and Hisense is kind of doing big things this year with the World Cup. So let's kind of wander over this way and check that out. Man, it is busy in here, but we wanted to show you the fact that they have some really cool FIFA stuff set up right here for the World Cup. Uh, they actually have a little kick contest or a little kicking shootout there. I think that is the UR9 TV, or at least conceptualized 
but it's a pretty cool little thing that they're doing right here. And that brings me to my main point, which is if a company is going to be working with someone like the World Cup, you're gonna expect that their TVs are gonna display those sports pretty well, right, Jen? Yeah, it's really cool that they're doing that. Hopefully we get to go to some soccer games. Yes, I think yeah. so. But I mean, if you're gonna put your money where your mouth is with regards to sports, you expect your TVs to display those sports quite well. And I think that Hisense is doing a great job with that. And here we have another PX4 Pro, this time displaying some sports, which is more my wheelhouse, right, Jen? That's pretty much all we watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a big fan of the Hisense Ultra Short Throw Projectors. Really excited to get the PX4 Pro. But we also have a really cool, exciting announcement on the new new XR10 long throw projector. So let's flip around over here. So here we are on the wall of projectors here. Now we've seen things like the C2 Pro, the C3 M2 Pro, uh, really good projector lineup. But now we have the XR10 here, which, you know, it says apex of projector. It's the yeah. apex predator, predator Jen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but honestly, I'm pretty excited for this because this thing looks like an absolute beast. The lens alone is uh, pretty awesome. And the XR10 is boasting 6,000 ANSI lumen of brightness, as well as 6,000 to one contrast with a dynamic iris lens, which is really awesome. Lens shift abilities of 130 degree vertically, 46 horizontally, and an optical zoom of 0.84 to two to one. But I think what's got me is it's the culmination of their trichroma laser now in a really, really good long throat projector. And honestly, 6,000 ANSI lumen is extremely bright. I don't know if we've had anything that's that bright including the L9Q, which is already 5,000 ANSI lumen, super bright laser TV. So I'm really excited to check it out. Shall we go into the showroom and see how good it looks? Let's do it. All right, so here we go. We have an XR10 above us, and I think it looks really good in here. This is an absolutely massive screen. I think this is even bigger than our 150 inch. I feel like we should have a seat and just watch content for a while, Jen. Yeah, I mean, this looks so good up here. I think we might need to start watching whatever show this is on Amazon Prime, Jen. It's got Anne Hathaway, why not? And they even have it set up with this HD Saturn wireless home surround sound system in here too. So maybe we're gonna have to test them all at once, Jen, the XR10 and this new uh, surround sound system sounds like it's going to go well together yeah i think we better all right jen i think we've sat here long enough other people might want these seats i'm sure but let's tell them more about the xr10 yeah. spec wise so this is really a kind of innovative new piece here i think one of the coolest things is that it has a visible liquid cooling architecture so a liquid cooling system inside this projector is really dope that's gonna you know make it work obviously better over time it's gonna keep it cool that sounds awesome i want one of those for myself <laughs> that's pretty funny now we talked about the fact that it has the optical zoom and the lens shifting ability but we didn't say that it has industry first 17 piece all glass lens setup here so a brand new optical engine that's gonna be really awesome and then we mentioned that it has that 6,000 ANSI lumen of brightness which is gonna be the big takeaway, I think, here. 6,000 to one contrast ratio. And the Devilay speakers, like most of these high sense short throw, long throw, even the TVs, it's a great setup with the French audio company. And then of course, as you'd expect, they have industry first quad cam with time of flight, smart sense system, seamless autofocus, auto keystone, really great features to have in there. And then AI HDR tone tuning, color and brightness. So of course, AI features galore. Of course. All right, Jen, so really excited for the XR10. Probably the best long throw projector we've ever seen. Got to get it in the house, but we got to get out of here right now and wrap the video up. So let's go. <laughs> wow, Jen, a lot of stuff going on in the Hisense booth. If you're at CES, I highly recommend you check it out, but excited to see the new 116 inch UXS and that cyan color added. Gonna be exciting to see how that, you know, changes the game for that TV specifically. But I'm really excited for the UR9 and the UR8. I know a lot of our viewers are gonna be excited for those oh, to come yeah. out and get their hands on some RGB technology. And then of course the PX4 Pro and the XR10. Long throw and short throw trichroma laser, improving upon technology that Hisense has pioneered for six, seven years. Really excited for 2026 for Hisense. So really cool technology. I'm excited, Jan, how about you? So much great stuff to come from Hisense. So go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let us know what you liked here. And don't forget to, of course, like and subscribe if you want to see more great stuff from the rest of this week at CES. Yeah. All right. See you guys in the next Bye. video.